whenever you sit on a chair, on a sofa, even though for a few minutes at home, right, or at work, you sit for a while, maybe a few minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, you can concentrate your mind on your nostril, or your abdomen, or the sitting, or the touching, whatever, right? So one term, a few minutes, five minutes, many, many times, collectively, it's more than one hour. So even the work, the workplace. And when you are reading for a student or for a businessman, maybe to read something, you know, when you are reading or writing or studying or do something at home, should use your time beneficially by contemplation for 10 or 15 minutes every each hour. So we do for one hour, just close your eyes, concentrate your mind, your primary object of breathing and breathing out, or rising, falling for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then continue your work, your study. See? You can do that too. So even each eating out, at least, you know, chewing, chewing should at least be noted. Even it's not detailed, just chewing, chewing, chewing. So you eat, when you eat one meal, how many times you chew the food? Maybe over 100 times. So you may not chewing, chewing, chewing. This is your meditation time. See? Even that moment, you can gain enlightenment too. During your eating. So it should be mindful all the time. Sometimes, you may lie down and put both of your hands, as I told you before, on your abdomen and fix your mind on the rising, falling on your abdomen, or in breath, on the breathing in and breathing out. Especially when you go to bed, do it until you fall asleep. By contemplating your mind on your abdomen or your nostril in breathing in breathing out for a while, you may fall asleep. That's good for your head. Right? Without taking any sleeping pill and be able to sleep soon. And by means of saving energy, right? resting well for one day. How oh, you work so hard at daytime, now you cannot sleep well. It's not supposed to be like that, right? By using this technique, this is saving your energy and resting well for one day. By contemplating on the rising, falling up abdomen, or the breathing and breathing out on your nostril without sleepiness for half an hour or an hour. This good either for your concentration as mental development. So you don't have time, stay time to practice meditation before you fall, you fall asleep, you practice so half an hour or one hour. Right? That's very good for the mental development. That means you have been accumulating a lot of merit and virtue perfection and mental development every daily life, which will lead you achieve your spiritual liberation by doing that every day. So that's why I would like to suggest all of you that don't let your time pass by meaninglessly. Instead, use your time 
to be beneficial by contemplating on mental, physical activities, and may all of you be able to attain your spiritual goal. What are you longing for? Thank you for your attention. Okay, any question? Uh, yes. <coughs> yes. Yes. I say it's a, it's a reality, but it's it's only temporary. Also, it's impermanent. Also, it's a sensation. It's yes, everything is impermanent. No, 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 not, not concept. Sensation, we already started. In Bali, they call Vedana. Vedana is one, of, or one kind of mental state. Be careful about that, you know. Most people, when they feel sensation, this is the body. It's not body. Sensation is one kind of mental state. In Bali, it's called Vedana. How can that be a reality if it's just a mental state? This mental state is reality. Really so stuff. Yeah, right. You already study. Really stuff. Four kind of realities: consciousness or mind, a mental state, and matter, and nibbana. Except for its concept. Yes. Yeah. So it's not a concept. Not concept. Not concept. I know. No. This the movement. The movement is the air element caused by the mind. The air element. It's the one kind of matter. We already study a wire dado. Remember, there's the among 28 wire dado air element. This movement is not mental state. It's the matter. One kind of matter. Yes. Exactly air element. <laughs> Understand it, right? So, yeah. uh, good, good point. This good question, yeah. So, when you're meditating, if you're focusing on movement, you're focusing on matter. Yeah. Right? Yes. If you're focusing on movement, you're focusing on sensation. Yes. So, if you're focusing on movement, you're focusing on mind. Uh, if you're focusing on sensation, you're focusing on mind. Sensation is the vedana. So, be, remember four kind of mindfulness meditation. In focus on the movement, it means kaya nupasana, sadipata. Kaya nubasana. If you focus on sensation, you go, that's not mine, it's the vedana nubasana. You see? So you focus on, you think about something, you're thinking, thinking. Your mind's wandering, you make some wandering, wandering. This you focus on your mind. It's jitta nubasana. So, so, what about other kinds of movements that are not mental? Like, for But that's why, yes, for this many, we have 40 or 52 many states. For example, you know about something. Oh. When you eat something, you know the test, the test, right? And you may know, know. Who is knowing? This knowing is panya, wisdom. Wisdom consists into mental state. See? And metta, I see, metta. So you pray for someone, so you love someone, something like that. It's the metta. Metta is one kind of mental state. And you want to do something, the intention, intention, jidana, see? Jidana is the one kind of mental state. So, really? Yes. Intention is the jidana. That's why a lot of mental state, you know. This uh, 
it's not member state is considered to uh, Dhamman Upasana. Yes. Uh, no, 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 Dhamman, it's not concept. <coughs> so we will study later. <coughs> Dhamman have two kinds of, uh, remember, we already study, but we have to uh, discuss about it one term. If you see Dhamma, Ra, Dhamma Ramana, we are still Dhamma Ramana, my object, right? With Dhamma Ramana, it's, uh, it's consciousness and mental state, it's the uh, five sense basis, and the subtle, uh, 16 subtle material properties, and Nibbana, and concept. We call it Dhamma Ramana. This the arc, and we can uh, take it as my object. That's why we call it Dhamma Ramana. But Dhamma Nupasana, Stipata, we have four foundations of mindfulness, right? The last one, so number one is the Kaya Nupasana, number two, Vedana Nupasana, three, Chitta Nupasana, four, Dhamma Nupasana. Here, be careful. The Dhamma Nupasana here, Dhamma here, just taking, uh, you observe on five hindrances, five hindrances, and uh, five aggregates of attachment, and the six internal bases, and six external bases, and the seven factors of enlightenment, Bojanga, and the four noble truths, only five. See, five hindrances, five aggregate, this is a twelve basis, and the seven factors of enlightenment, and the four noble truths. That's different with Dhamma Ramana and Dhamma Nubhasana, different. Yes. They, they would, if you're meditating on those, being aware of those, that goes as part of Dhamma? Yes, Dhamma. Yeah. For if, for if. Yeah. Yeah. How can they take Vedana out if it's part of the mental practice? Yes, sir. But the Vedana is the uh, more evidenced than the other mental state. That's why I put only Vedana and Upasana. You know, it's more evident. This other, you know, we even just realize that. That's why others put in one group. Vedana is, is one. When you practice meditation, we experience Vedana sensation. It's more, it's the predominant. That's why Vedana is, is classified as one. Just like uh, Kaya, is, is also part of Dharma? No, no, no. Yes, Kaya is the, you know, so like the, the four great essential elements, you know, this uh, consists to Kaya, especially. So it's not just being aware of movement, it's being aware of the properties of each of the movements. What, what, like, this is no, the it's the, 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 the nature. Yeah, the nature. Okay. So it's not yeah. just being aware of the movement, it's, it's, uh, it's what, uh, what is the Yes, it's not concept. The, move, the movement is, is not concept. That the movement is the nature of this element. So, they are, later on we still have to uh, study because a specified characteristic and a common characteristic. This is a specified characteristic of this air element. This the move, the move, something like that, you know. But the common characteristic it's not movement, it's impermanent. So later we, we will study step by step, you know. Now we, we're not just talking about the, any knowledge. Uh, so we study step by step. So even though you can call them a reality, they're, they're impermanent. What? Sorry. Even the reality, like the past, or the you said it's a reality, but it's still impermanent. Oh, everything's impermanent. <laughs> so what about Nibbana? Nibbana is the permanent. But for Nibbana, permanent happiness and 
anatta. So the different, the different, you know, other condition thing is the impermanent or suffering, no self. And there's still arising in the four noble truths, basically. Yeah. And that's where you say the reality is the yeah. noble truths. Yeah. Because it's but, yeah, suffering. Yeah, yeah, ex- except nibbana. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nibbana, I said, remember, nijak, permanent, sukha, happiness, and anatta, no self. The small r- really stuff, including the power, you know. But the nibba, why we don't say it's the, the nibbana? Nibbana is not meditation object. Remember, nibbana is not meditation object. Right? That's why we're talking about impermanence and so on. That's the ex- excluding nibbana because nibbana is the not the object of meditation. So we're focusing on the realities of the four noble truths, 